last week and again um, this week, both you and Jen were very dismissive of these reports of thousands of people fleeing yep. um, Ukraine into Russia. And I'm going to be again today, but uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, last Friday, in response to my saying, my question, which was, have you have seen nothing like this, that there is no mass exodus or even close to thousands that are crossing the border from Ukraine into Russia, fleeing their homes, and Jen replied, correct. And then I asked again on Monday, you, and I said, it's still your understanding that reports in Russia of enormous amounts of refugee flows are incorrect, and you said, incorrect, yes. Well, today, the UN Refugee Agency comes out in Geneva and says that 110,000 Ukrainians have fled this year from, uh, for Russia, fled Ukraine to Russia, and that 54,000 have fled their homes in Ukraine but have stayed in Ukraine. I'm wondering, were you guys just completely misled by the Ukrainians and by We the, don't think those numbers are credible. You think that the, that right. the UN so let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Let's wrong. talk about this a little bit. Okay. There, look, it is certainly likely and probable, right, that some thousands may have crossed the border. There's been quite a bit of border crossing both ways, we should note. So there's been a, people go back and forth quite frequently. Um, this is, a, as we've now seen, fairly porous border. So the notion that there may be, you know, some thousands that have crossed is certainly probable. Um, that what we're saying is not credible is the notion that there's 90,000, hundreds of thousands that are fleeing from Ukraine to Russia. We just have seen no evidence to support that. We don't believe they're credible. We're watching. We're monitoring the situation. And obviously, this is, you know, it, this isn't a, a science. This is an art in some respects because you can't have people all along the border. But we just don't think that the hundreds of thousands number is credible. We well, don't no, have no. anything to corroborate it. But it's not hundreds of thousands. It's 110,000. Hundred thousand. We don't. We just don't have anything to corroborate that but, or, or show I mean, that it's credible. Okay, so 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 you. We don't do, have our own evidence. Okay, fair enough. But then you, that's understandable. But this is the UN. This isn't the Russians saying this. This is right. the United I, I'm Nations. I'm not saying fund. there's this any is an agency thing. that you guys give millions and millions of dollars right. to, and they're now no longer credible. We don't have anything to back up that number, Matt. Well, but you cite UNHCR and you cite the UN Human Rights Commission on plenty of things that you have no, don't have your own evidence to back up. I, I don't think that's necessarily true. Well, um, yeah. when we use numbers from people outside agencies, I think we tend to back them up with our own analysis as well. But on this, we just don't have anything to corroborate. This, you know, the you do so that when, when when they say something about North Korea, where you have absolutely no idea what's going on, you don't have anyone would, on the I ground. I would take issue with a little bit. Have absolutely well, no idea what's going on. Yeah, but on. You, there's no way that you can back up World Food Program statistics on hun hunger or malnutrition in North Korea on your own. You just take them and you accept them as as well, credible I, I think because they come some from the UN. Sweeping generalizations about I'm how we do analysis. Why, is it something with the UN refugee agency no. that you don't believe? What, no, I, again, we've seen numbers thrown around by a number of people including the Russians. We don't have any we don't think that those huge numbers are credible. We don't have information to back it up. So until we do, you know, I am not going to stand up here and, and make assumptions without having facts. So, so we'll we'll keep looking I mean, at it. And and again, some would argue that that you, that, that that by but by that you're doing that already. Well, no? I'm happy to have that argument with someone, whoever that someone might be. But my point is, look, as I as I said, I conceded the fact that there are numbers of people who do travel back and forth. Yeah. Uh, it's a very poor sport. There are families that have contacts on both sides. So right. I can't rule out the possibility that even up to thousands of people have crossed one way or the other. Okay. Um, but this notion that there's 100,000 Ukrainians who have fled in mass uh, to Russia, we just don't believe is credible at this point. We're looking into it. I'm not ruling it out entirely f for eternity that we ever could get to that assessment, but we just don't have anything to back it up. Okay, but I, do, is there anything else? Can I ask, do you have doubts about the UN High Commissioner for Refugees on other We uh, don't. Other well, this is a this credible is the organization. Only one. Right. It's a credible it, organization, and we're looking into these reports and seeing if we okay. can confirm them. It's a credible organization with incredible figures. We just can't confirm their data on this one issue, Matt. I think you can understand that.